Hello, in today's video we're going to be looking at strippers. No, not that kind, you mucky people. These kind. Now this is a Stanley Fat Max automatic wire stripper and this is a CK wire stripper. Now this Stanley Fat Max I've actually had for quite a while now and it's served me wonderfully well. I really do like them. But because I watch a lot of electricians on YouTube, I've seen plenty of them using these CK strippers and they all seem to sing the praises of them. So I put them on my Amazon wish list, and my very kind mother bought me this pair for Christmas. Now, I've not really had much of a chance to play with these CK strippers, so what I thought I'd do in this video is compare the two of these and uh, see what they're like. Now, I know how the Fat Max works because I've used them many times, and they're just really good. Actually, one of my first ever vlogs was a video of me showing you how I use these, and um, it's had a lot of views, but it's absolutely terrible. <laughs> but you know, YouTube's strange like that. So the Fat Max does seem to have a little bit more on it, in that you can crimp connections, and also it's got a wire cutter, which is handy. I've never actually used it to crimp a connection. I have used it quite a lot to cut wires, so that is a feature that I really do like about it. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just, basically cut some cables and see how both of them work and you know see if there's any difference or one's better than the other I honestly don't know we'll just see how this video turns out so um, obviously I am just a very keen DIYer I'm not a professional in any way shape or form so this is more more my opinion for a kind of DIY point of view rather than someone in the trades but you know I think both of them could work okay if you're a tradesperson, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, how do they work? Well, I'll show you. So um, I've got a bit of twin and earth cable here, and uh, we'll try the Fat Max first. Now the Fat Max works in either one of two ways. You've got this device here, which is like a cable stop, so that all the insulation that is pulled off is of a sort of set determined length. So you can say, "Yep, I want it to be there." And then if you wanted to make sure that the inner cores had less copper on show, you can just slide this back and then, and there we go. It's trimmed the wires all very nicely, done a good job. Or you can just move this up and out of the way and strip from wherever you want to, like so. So let's see how it works on the CK strippers. So with the Seco strippers, you can see the blade sort of there poking out. So that is where the cut will occur. So let's just feed a bit through. So obviously there's no way of determining how much will be cut off, but obviously you do it by eye. And I suppose the more cables you do, the, the better you know it's gonna work. But we'll just try that bit and go there. It's done a great job. There's really no difference between that and the Stanley Fat Max. And then, you know, if we wanted to take a little bit more off. Again, nice and quick, nice and clean cut. So although it doesn't actually have a sort of guide so you can set the sort of length of cut you require, the cable can just feed through the middle here. And so you can get right in close. So if you're working on a back box on a wall, you can get this right in close to the back box. Whereas with the Fat Max, it's a bit, it's, yeah, you know, you've got, you can't really do much. So it is a bit more of a faff if you're working to something where the length of the cable is quite short. So I think price-wise between the two of them, the Stanley Fat Max automatic wire stripper is around about the sort of 20 pound mark. And the CK one is around about the 40 to 50 pound mark. I should have looked before I started filming this video, but you know. I'm not a professional. But yeah, they both do a really good job. I mean, this has sort of got a sort of metal construction with these kind of plasticky rubber bits on it. And this is just all plastic apart from the metal cutting heads. The CK ones are definitely lighter in the hand. And I think actually probably require less effort to strip. You have to apply quite a bit of force to get that to go but with these it's it's pretty straightforward so um yeah that was some sort of twin and earth that i cut let's just try some other cable yeah i got this for wiring in some leds that just needed a live and neutral connection so um yeah let's 
give it a go. We'll do it in the Fat Max first of all. That looks pretty decent. No damage to the insulation on the inside here. Do that. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So let's try again with the CK ones. No damage to the insulation in there either. Perfect. I think the Stanley ones can cut up to a maximum of six millimeter wire, but the CK ones can go up to 12 millimeters. So that is really good. Um, let's see how they both work with smaller cables. So I've got a bit of speaker cable here. Now it's not the most expensive speaker cable in the world, but it's not the cheapest either. There it is. So let's give it a try on the Stanley to start with. Yeah, it's done a nice job of that. It hasn't damaged any of the fine wires either. Right, so now let's try this speaker cable with the CK strippers. Again, yeah, done a great job. Hasn't broken any of the little stranded wires at all. So I guess I should decide which one's better. I think the CK ones feel a little bit more professional, but they are about 30 pounds more. So you would expect that. The only thing I guess I miss from the Stanley ones on the CK ones is that wire cutter because it's quite handy. Now, obviously, if you're a professional, you probably got some snips right next to you in your pocket, even as we speak. And so that's not really an issue, but for your average DIYer, having as few tools as possible is probably a good idea but I don't know I just quite like the way that these ones feel you don't need as much effort to strip the cable and also the fact that it's a little bit more versatile where you can actually get it up close to a, a wire coming out of a wall it's definitely closer than uh, you could with a fat max one so I suppose it's horses for courses really I really don't think that the Stanley fat max ones are, are bad at all I think they're great um, and I'm still going to keep them in my toolbox for sure. But yeah, I like the CK ones. They're very nice feeling and uh, hopefully should give me many happy years of use. So which one do you think is best? Um, which one would you have in your toolbox? Or do you have a different wire stripper altogether? Let me know in the comments which one you've got. But yeah, I'm really pleased with my CK ones. I think they're smaller, they're lighter. And they've got just a nicer feeling in the hand. Then the Stanley Fat Max automatic wire stripper is good as well. So yeah, there's... they both do what they should do. They both do it well, but I think for me, I prefer the CK ones. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and interesting to you. If you don't mind, then please do give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, it will recommend this video to more people like you who are interested in stuff like this. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, but for now, it's game over.